a little alarming, if we're being honest. Yeah, right now at 6 o'clock, two college students robbed at gunpoint while walking home. We'll have the latest from Hamden. And a pair of heroes are going to be honored today for their quick thinking several weeks ago on the Gold Star Memorial Bridge. Also, the nation in mourning after two tragedies killed over a dozen people collectively in Texas. We'll tell you what we know right here, right now at 6 o'clock. All local, all morning. This is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Good morning. Happy Monday. Thanks for being with us and starting off your new week here at Fox 61 America Areas. And I'm Tim Lammers. We are starting with the forecast coming off of one of the best weather weekends. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm. we've had in a while, Matt Scott, and uh, yeah. it's going to keep rolling. Yeah, here. Was, yeah. uh, you had a walk yesterday. <clears throat> I, had I did a walk for hunting disease. Uh, mine yes. was for women's reproductive cancers. And and boy, high fives for, for the weatherman when he's yep. hosting <laughs> a gig like that. <laughs> hey, you want the nice weather for your walk? You go a weatherman, right? Good morning to you. Nice to have you along. Uh, the, we had some rain overnight, which was uh, perfect timing, and, and it's done. Uh, and that leads to what is an overall dry week ahead, a warming uh, week ahead. And Mom's Day, by the way, next weekend, looking good. There goes the rain from last night. The loop and review showing you that's already left the Cape. Northwesterly breeze in effect for today, about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Because of the clouds all night, temperatures fairly mild. 52 to 58, 58 in Hartford, 58 in New Haven, 56 right now in Groton, New London, on the way up to the low to mid. 70. So above normal today, and it looks like above normal for much of the week. We're going to make a run at 80 a couple of times. We'll talk about that coming up. 601, let's go to the roads. And for the first time this morning, this week, I get to say hello to Lauren Zenzi. Good morning. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning, everyone. Gorgeous weekend. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. We do have a couple of closures. Southington police did write in to Fox 61 saying that there are uh, three separate crashes that they are investigating from the late night hours last night into this morning. So we do have some road closures to get to. The first one is Savage Street between South End Road and Hacienda Drive. Summer Street is where another crash is at West Center Street and Knowles Avenue. And then the third one is technically in Cheshire. So this closure is Merritt and Waterbury Turnpike, which is the most well-trafficked road out of the three of them uh, between Old Turnpike Road and Honey Road in Cheshire. We do have a crew on the way to the scene, but uh, Southington Police did want us to note that they do have marked detours out in all of these locations. So just be mindful and give yourself plenty of time to get where you need to go in and around the capital city though. Take a look at this gorgeous morning out there. Smooth sailing on 91 north and southbound as we take a look at our Hartford drive times all in the green right now. 91 84 and route 2. now that construction is cleared is all moving free and now we are starting to see that heavier volume in the Bridgeport to Fairfield area. Not terrible. No huge delays, but traffic moving at about 45 to 50 miles an hour. We're taking a live look in Fairfield and Norwalk right now. Norwalk is smooth sailing as of right now, but we can anticipate that those delays will start coming in and around the 7 o'clock hour. We'll check back in on the roads coming up in the next half hour. For now, Tim and Erica, I'll say good morning to you. And good morning to you. It is 6.03, one of our top stories here. Quinnipiac University said a night out for two students ended horribly over the weekend. Yeah, the students say they were robbed at gunpoint near campus this weekend. Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro is joining us live in Hamden as police continue to investigate. Hey, good morning, guys. Incredibly scary moments for these two students. The good news, though, is that the university says neither of these students was injured during this reported armed robbery. The university says this happened early Saturday morning. This was just after midnight, and this was by the Mount Carmel campus. The Department of Public Safety at this school, they did send out a letter to students and staff notifying them about this incident. According to the chief, Two students reported they were walking to an off-campus house on Whitney Avenue near the 4200 block, and that is when they were approached by a man who pulled out a handgun and demanded money. The students complied, handing over $400, $40, and a wallet. The gunman then fled the scene in a dark-colored four-door sedan. Now, the Hamden Police Department is continuing to investigate this morning, and this incident prompting some students to have those safety conversations with their friends. We spoke briefly about it. Um, we were kind of like, you know, just make sure that we're staying safe, like make sure we have a buddy when we travel and everything. And the university also recommending some safety tips in that letter that they did send home to students and staff, reminding people not 
to resist if you find yourself in a similar situation where there is somebody demanding money and they have a gun and also not to drive home, not to walk home alone late at night. Always have a buddy like you heard that student just say. We are live in Hamden this morning. I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Angelo, thank you for that report. It is 6.05. We've got developing news in Trumbull. Police said a hiker found a dead body in the woods near a walking trail. This was near Church Hill Road. The police also said there were some personal items nearby. As of now, they're not looking for any suspects, but they are, are still trying to identify that body. So please call the Trumbull PD if you can help them out. All new this morning out of Rocky Hill, where firefighters battle a car that was engulfed in flames. This happened just after six last night on I-91 South, just before exit 23. Firefighters say everyone inside the vehicle made it out safely and no injuries were reported. And a firefighter is recovering and a family is now without a home in Madison after a late night fire there. The fire department says they were called to the scene at about 1130 Saturday night and they have the fire under control in about 40 minutes. No word yet on what caused that fire. A motorcyclist was hospitalized after crashing with a car in Haddam. Police said this happened around 6 o'clock Saturday night on Killingworth Road. We don't know how bad that person's injuries are. You can see the uh, motorcycles looked better. And there's a lot of damage to the front of that, that car. We do know the driver of the car refused medical treatment. Police are still trying to figure out exactly what led up to that crash. A 22-year-old man died after an early morning crash yesterday in West Hartford. Police said Luis Colon was driving on I-84 West near exit 40 around 6.30 a.m. and appeared to lose control of his car. They said he went across all three lanes, crossed the exit 41 entrance ramp, and, and then hit a concrete barrier off the road. Colon was pronounced dead at the scene. Still no word yet on what caused the crash, but if anybody saw what happened, please call the Connecticut State Police. And state police are investigating a crash that killed two adults and hurt two children in Tallinn. Now, this all happened yesterday, just before 1.30 in the afternoon. Police say Amanda Bowen of Coventry was traveling south on Marrow Road and then crossed the double yellow lines, crashing head on with Brian Flint of Ellington. Both Bowen and Flint died in the crash. The two children in Flint's car suffered minor injuries. Today, the New London Police Department is expected to honor two people who helped in the deadly fire in the Gold Star Memorial Bridge. Off-duty officer Lieutenant Cornelius Rogers and Brandon Bilo both helped rush. They rushed over to help rescue two people in a crashed car back in April. You can see the video of it happening. And then that car went up in flames shortly after the rescue. The New London Police Department said both Rogers and Bilo showed, and we quote here, extreme heroism, character, and a relentless life-saving commitment under enormously challenging conditions. So they'll both be honored at the Guard Arts Theater on State Street today at 5 p.m. It's been nearly 30 days since Patricia Wu Murad went missing, and her family shared on their GoFundMe page that they are now ending their search and rescue efforts for her. Well, she's the Connecticut woman who went missing while hiking in Japan. Her family says the search is ending because of rain and expenses. And they have also decided to leave the country. They do say they hope police and search and rescue teams can still find her. Since starting the GoFundMe page, the family has been able to raise almost $185,000 to help in the search. Well, today in Hartford, there's an effort to help small businesses in the city, and we do mean small. At noon, Mayor Bronin is expected to announce a $500,000 micro-grant program that's meant to help businesses that have fewer than five employees, or even people just looking to start a new business. If you're accepted, you can get up to $2,500.